Public safety has been top of mind across the Bay Area, but many local law enforcement agencies are facing a staffing shortage. They are pulling out all of the stops just to lure new recruits. But as Lauren Toms shows us, even some signing bonuses, big ones, are losing their appeal. It's like an NFL draft now, like everyone needs cops, so everyone is pulling out all the stops together. The competition is fierce, but limited in the race to beef up the number of police officers as departments across the nation are being squeezed by staffing shortages. Higher retention bonuses, it could mean higher recruiting bonuses. Um, some places are offering take home patrol cars. I mean, everyone is thinking outside the box. In San Carlos, Police Chief Mark Myers meets with the very residents whose taxes are funding some of the out of the box solutions to attract more officers. San Mateo County is offering $30,000 to experienced officers who come to their police department. But in the pricey peninsula, another issue is plaguing recruitment. It's the cost of living. No one can afford to live here. Um, so I know the county is looking at doing like a lottery or they have done a lottery where maybe they'll give you a low interest rate uh, down payment. But then again, uh, I hate to say $100,000 even if that is a down payment, it's not going to make you very uh, competitive in this market. He says officers often commute from several counties over and as far as out of state. San Mateo County Sheriff's Department is down about 90 officers, nearly triple what their normal shortage is. But the issues span across the Bay Area and so do the bonuses. The highest bonus is seen in Alameda County, which is offering a $75,000 signing bonus to new officers. Other counties like Marin and Pleasant Hill are offering $30,000 signing bonuses where Sergeant Brian Leonard says the financial offerings are becoming so popular they're losing their impact. The effectiveness is decreasing a little bit that now that it's become every department offers it, it's kind of an industry standard almost, at least in, in the Bay Area. Their biggest hurdle, he says, is finding officers with the required qualifications. Pleasant Hill hasn't lowered its minimum standards that could open the doors to newer officers. When you can bring in an officer that has some experience, it's a more return on investment, frankly, than it is to hire somebody. They've got to go through a police academy, a field training program. No city is immune to the shortages. San Francisco PD graduated six people in their academy class last week. They used to graduate 50 or 60. They graduated six. For Myers, it comes down to the well-being of his officers and their families who are sacrificing their time in the name of public safety. It does put a, a strain on the deputy, but you know, more importantly, it's a strain on the family. You know, we have a lot of young deputies that have young kids, you know, and you know, new marriages and stuff like that. And it does put a strain on. Them. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's just maybe going to take us a while to get there. Hoping that relief comes sooner than expected.